What's going on guys? With all this uh, server team built set up and working on the 66 Mustang and the 80 Corvette and all that stuff, um, I figured I'm going to be doing a lot of a lot more sandblasting and I do enjoy my sandblaster. I'm just going to make it a little bit better. So I got a package today from Eastwood. It came in today. These are mine. Okay, so I got the blast cabinet, foot pedal, and blast media gun. Uh, this was just kind of a kit that came all together. Uh, this was actually on back order uh, for oh, probably a month or two, maybe something like that. That's the item number. It's 21133. If you guys want to get this. And again, I'm not affiliated with. Uh, with Eastwood, but I do get a lot of their products, and I'm, I've been pretty happy with most most all their products. Hopefully, I won't need this for therapy trying to install this. Uh, from what I see, it, it seems pretty pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to put in. So, instruction manual. So it seems pretty easy to do. Um, I'll go over what I have. Like I said, I have the Harbor Freight sandblast cabinet. I've had it for several years, no issues with it. Except recently, which I'll show you here in a minute. That's it. Recently, I've been having trouble with the with the hoses being stiff as a rock. Alright, so here is the gun. I don't know how well you can see that, but kind of looks like it's been used. Maybe they maybe they test everything. your ceramic the number six or number nine I don't know that's your little orifice tube thing That's nice, long, and flexible. Not really digging this hose clamp. We might use the uh, clamp tight on that, just so that's not sticking out and grabbing on that. Thing. I think the yeah the air goes in this side and then that goes down into your media and it and then it just gets sucked up through here blown out so that's that part of it pretty easy and we have your little foot pedal which air goes in here goes through through the cabinet that goes on there bada bing bada bing you're the nephew of Bob I know Eastwood on their YouTube channel they did a video 
showing this on their cabinet. I'm just going to show you putting it on a Harbor Freight blast cabinet. Alright, so here's my blast cabinet. And basically, and whenever I did this, whenever I put this together, I siliconed the crap out of it. And it, uh, it's held up pretty well. Um, there are a few spots. I think there's a spot under here. Uh, that the silicone is kind of leaking out of um, maybe a little bit up here but all in all not too bad uh, again I only use this for maybe 15 minutes at a time or something and you can see down in there I've, I thought this was clear caulking but it wasn't um, but I got caulking on all all the insides as well still have the light Harbor Freight light and that Harbor Freight light you can see how uh, maybe you can't but anyways these these light up quite a bit and this is just a portable one so but I'll show you what I'm talking about with with this I mean this is I gotta take this out anyways. I mean, look at that. That should be flexible, and it's just, it's hard as a rock. But one of the things is, um, you know, when you're working in here, you have these big old gloves, and you're gripping around this fairly small grip. And you have to pull the trigger at the same time. And I don't think I have arthritis, but man, if I didn't know what arthritis feels like, I feel like I have it after squeezing this thing for for so long through that big old glove and holding it and all that stuff. And, and again, it doesn't help with it not being flexible. So we're gonna get rid of all this crap and. Once I get all the tools, I'll get back with you. And that wasn't cut off very straight. Oh well, you can see that or not. Okay, put that on first. Barbed in, just stick it in there. But you want to make sure that this is seated all the way up, up to the shoulder of this, all the way around. Can you run that up? It's all tight. The bad thing about this camera is the batteries freaking don't last for nothing. Um, so I don't, I don't know where I left off. Anyways, there's a 15 on the small end, 17 mil, 15 millimeter on the small end, 17 millimeter on the short end. Um, and you just put your hose in here. I think this hose is way too long, so. The way I'm doing this is I've stretched the gun all the way to the far corner over there. This uh, pickup tube is going to be all the way over here. And then I'm just going to cut where the hose, oops, where the hose reaches. Um, the way I see it, the less traveling, the less length your media has to go. The better flow you'll have. That's kind of just logical thinking in, in my part. So, so that's, that's the very far reaches. So I mean, you can cut off a good, I don't know, foot and a half or so, almost two feet. 
That's pretty far. on somehow. You can see the metal on this side. I guess metal here and the hoses up here so we're good. And if it blows off and if it blows off then we'll repeat and push it further down. No big deal. Oops, a sense of 14. Okay, so that was a bigger pain in the butt than I thought. Uh, I don't know if they had super glue in that thing or what, but I'm gonna put a red Loctite on this one, and then where where this plugs in, we'll put a blue Loctite on that. But yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but that was so hard to get out. So I think we're about ready. Um, I'm changing my my media sand out. Um, you can see how thin that is. I mean, it's real fine, fine grit sand. So when I put this in here, it was a uh, it was just too fine fine of grit, and so I, I put this little cardboard piece in there. And that helped keep it from uh, from falling out. The other thing I do is I put this little foam block at the bottom. Um, since that's as far down as that hose can reach, there's really no sense in having anything deeper than that. the The volume of that foam is stuff I couldn't use, right? So, anyways, I've been doing that. It seems to be fine. It seems to uh, help feed and distribute the, the sand where I need it for the blasting media. So that's the fine stuff that I was using. 120 grit. It's pretty pretty fine like I said. So I've used this stuff before. It's the black diamond. You can get it at uh, tractor supply for like $7.99 for a 50 pound bag. It's more abrasive. That helps cut cut through rust and paint and junk a lot better that one down there is more for a polish so usually I just set the bag in there like that come in with the razor I can see how much bigger those chunks are. Alright, so here's a power steering pulley. Let's see what we can do with this. So here's where we're at with that. It's 
have a failure to feed. <laughs> uh, it just won't pick up that stuff. So I, I'm glad I, I cut that that hose as much as I did. Otherwise, it would have been well, a lot worse than it is. But um, I don't know how bad you can if you can see that or not. But it's pretty rough. But this right here, once you put it on a wire wheel. So I think I'll research and find, see if I can uh, make a new pickup tube. So all in all, I really like this. It is really comfortable. It is really comfortable in the hand. I feel like I'd, I could use it for, for quite a while without getting tired. Um, and you don't have to you know, keep your hand on that. You don't have to keep your hand on that trigger, so you can grab it up here or up here or whatever. Um, so that's that's good. That keeps your hand from getting tired and fatigued. So yeah, I think I'll I'll research and find a better pickup tube. I think that's my problem. That's a pretty small entrance, and then to go through this big old tube. But, uh, but yeah, all that's all that's good. Uh, easy to install. Pretty much just as easy as Eastwood is showing in their video. And I recommend it. Alright guys, your comment rate, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.